fucking with? Do you even know who you fucking with? It's the YBZF, yeah, baby. Do this on the daily. You can never phase me. You're so good, baby. You're just trying to play me. Hey, hey, you know what the deal is? I'm your girl, Barbie Velvet, and Wise Podcast Radio has the privilege of having a little sis in the building. Go ahead and let me know what it is. Slow YBZF, baby. Do this on the daily. Okay, now go ahead and let them know before we get into where you are now with Blueface video, Sada Baby video, and all that. Let's go ahead and start with the basics. Did you choose the music or did the music choose you? Oh, I keep telling you it chose me. <laughs> <laughs> I keep on telling you this. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then which way did it choose you? It chose me at a young age. I'm going to just keep it short and simple, you know. Um, so what was you doing at a young child musically? Go ahead and let them know. Miss Pianalist, learning oh, oh, music and all that. See, I wish I would have kept on to it, but you know, if you know, you know. I done did the, uh, the piano recitals and making my own CDs and all that. The school projects, like selling my own CDs, making my own mixtape at like the age of what? 14, 15. So yeah, we you know, we've been we've been doing this, you know, but I'ma just leave it at that. What made you inspired you to be in musically inclined, to stay musically inclined? Um, I would just say because it runs in the family, but it's something that Who I else guess, in your family is musically inclined? My mom, rest in peace. But um my grandfather for the most part. Um, so I just kinda took after them and then shit, here we are. And so what made you say, okay, I'm going to start putting, doing music and getting into the studio? Because at first you're just doing recitals and being musically inclined. But what did you take it serious as I'm being an artist? Um, well, I would say probably after my second tape, I was maybe 18 years old. So I had an all day and an all day too, if you know, you know. Okay. Uh, you feel me? <laughs> and when did it become Little Odeezy at that moment? No, I was actually going by all day. Okay. I was going by all day. And um, I want to say... Probably after that. Anything I dropped after that must have been. I think I went by a little easy. So and what was that moment like? Take us what it looked like when you was rapping. You had your two tapes out. You called yourself Little Odd Day. <laughs> and then you say I was to be Little Odd Easy. What did uh, that look like? I mean, I guess because I took a break for so long. So it was like a, a transition more so. So it was like, oh, I went from Odd Day to Little Odd Easy. And um, I got that nickname actually from my mom's. Um, my mom's homie, <laughs> Eric, you feel me? Shout out to Eric. Okay, shout yeah, out to yeah, Eric for blessing yeah. us with the names and all that. Yeah, you know, and then I just took that ring, but I'm like, you know what? It got a little ring to it, so, little wide easy. And so, what if, when did you start putting the business behind it? Because, you know, you you know how to make your own flyers, you know how to make your own CDs and all that. When did you start putting that business behind it and start really going into the studio and being serious? Um... I would say probably when I came back around 2019. So when I when I dropped Fugazi, mm -hmm. that video, I think that's when I like really was taking it serious. Like it was my first real video, like independent video. Um, so I think from that moment, it was like wow, like I could put my own shit together by myself, you know. Um, and you know, like I said, it's in, it's in me not only like. I could write, you know, I could really put together videos and just like different type of content and, you know, just try to play with it and make it my own, you know. What were some of the early challenges that you faced independently as an artist that you could say that you learned throughout this, the beginning of your career? Like something I faced. Um, like what are some of the challenges you faced as little ID, Z, I day in your early years of uh, being an artist? Uh, well, a lot of it, I would say, because I was raised mostly by my grandparents, so my mom and my dad weren't, you know, a lot of family stuff going on to where they couldn't be there for me, like my parents should have been, and my mom being in the pen, um, you know, just a lot of that absence, you know, um, it had a lot to do with, like, how I was brought up, and how, why I moved the way I did, so. Were you able to channel that musically? I believe so because I put that in my music, you know, and I try to get people to relate like what I'm going through and you know, others that can relate, you know, can feel me more and if you can't, it's like I might know somebody that's going to do the same thing, so. Yeah, you've been very transparent on things that you've gone through, early hurt traumas and things that you've gone through. If you can give the, if little Adizi Ade could give little baby 15 year old Ade some advice, what would she tell her 15 year old self? Ooh. Knowing what she knows now. I would say stay focused, like don't let nobody, I mean nobody, break yes. your focus, your, your concentration, because that means 
you're able to stay more consistent. You know, and I think that's one thing I lack a lot of times is my consistency. There be so much shit going on, but it's one thing you gotta like really just pull through and you know rise above it and just keep it going because once you stop, it's like everything else stops. You know, so that's one thing I would do myself. <laughs> and the thing is, you're still a baby. You still a little baby. Little baby, I got yeah. to smell all the stimulac on your breath right now. Oh you know what I'm saying? Gosh. Little baby. You still a baby. You still got old. a lot of time. Look at, Look at my cat. I promise. <laughs> well, y'all, my cat has made his Look. debut. Look. This is Simba. I'm trying to tell you. I'm What's crazy? I'm almost steady, y'all. I might not look. Okay. Good. My my cat is a spiritual cat, okay? He didn't came and say he wanted his debut, okay? Right. So now you know what you know now. You're moving into being little Adizi, now the mother, mm -hmm. and trying to be an artist. What are some of the challenges you face as, as a mother trying to do this music thing and... And that mother thing, because people don't know it is really challenging. Ooh, even when you got nice. help, it's still hard as a mama, even mm -hmm. though you got help. Yeah, because I mean, even like with me, I'm feeling it more so because my mom just passed last year. So shout like, out to moms. Ooh, I'm Rest still going through it, you know. But it's like she was my go-to when it came to like I got stuff I had to do, or just being there, you know, just being there for mom, grandmother. I don't have that no more. So it's like, damn, this is a little more harder because I don't have that bit of support from that, you know what I'm saying, and mm -hmm. trying to make it work with my kids and sacrificing, okay, they need this more than I need this, so I got to set aside what I got to do, because they need, you know, because it's about making sure their well-being is, you know, to the care of, and even, you know, for you too, like, I and when that safety thing, net like, is gone, ooh. it's like, ooh, the world, the world is different, you know, my kids mean? come first, you know, some parents can't, I can't relate with the ones that don't take care of their kids, that's one thing. I'm like, no, I'm not going to put my kids through the same thing I went through, you know. I'm going to make sure I'm there for my kids, learn from my mistakes, you know, and keep it going. So now that we are where we are, pushing forward, you feel me, we, we push it through all the adversity. Because people don't know, it's a lot of stuff you go through when you lose your parents, you feel me. Yeah. You know, I think that going through all that you've been through, I think you, you're stepping into one of the best chapters musically. That, that I mean, when I listen to your music now, you can hear your growth in your music. And sometimes the challenges you go through in life is what make you better. Oh, you know, yeah. all the greatest forms in life, whether it's steel, diamond, glass, all the strongest matters in this world have to be melted down in order to be reformed. So I think all this that you've gone through is going to help you reform and help you be a better artist. What do you think of all these artists out here? Who is somebody like if you could have a collaboration with anybody, you could pick dead or alive, male or female? Yeah. What would it be? Sade. Sade, cause she named after her. I have to, like, I have to. It, you know, I have to. I, have to I mean, I, I had a lot of people say some things on my couch, but I had nobody say Sade. Sade, make it happen for the girl, okay? Her mama yeah. named it after you. You know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, Is that an inspiration to you that you're named after Sade, someone so legendary as Sade? Man, when, it is, because it's like when I hear her music, I always get chills. Like, it never fails. And then even times like I'm hearing it, I might be at a store. I can't handle it because my mama is like, she burnt it out. <laughs> so now I'm like, you know, I'm trying not to cry, but it's like, it's so beautiful. And it's like, wow, she named me after her. Okay, yeah. I know. I, I got a job to do. Yeah, like, this is not, you know what I'm saying? This is not, mm -mm. So I'm leave it at that. <laughs> I mean, so you, 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 you've been around, you've done music with a lot of people, you've known a lot of people, you've worked with a lot of people. What do you take into this phase? of your chapter knowing all the things you know what's the game strategy going into this chapter you feel me like you just was inside a baby video you just was in blue face video you're the first female to drop on rent to do shout out to off air you know what i'm talking about you feel me you didn't been in a c-mac video you didn't done you didn't done all the things that mostly everybody independently is trying to do what are you going to do this this phase who like i said besides stepping my focus game back up um you know i'm just gonna push towards my tape um, you know, I want to get my mom's song done, and, you know, I have to dedicate her, um, and, you know, just try to best, you know, try to work with people that's a little, that has a little bit more status than I do, and try to make my way with my collaborations and working with other people, networking, you know, just trying to, you know, build my content up, just a whole lot of stuff I want to do, so. Okay, you got the fresh cut and all that. I see you, girl. You know what I'm saying? She coming to a new <laughs> chapter on y'all. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, man. Here's what you got. 
Yeah. So who who the collaboration be male or female? You say Sade. Who's the male? Who's the male? Yeah, Nipsey. Nipsey. Yeah. That would have been so hard to have a little Adizy Nipsey future. That would have that, that would have changed everybody's future, including mine. Mm. You feel me? Shout out to mm. Nip. You feel me? I see the marathon started just, uh, just celebrated their anniversary, their one year anniversary. So shout out to them. Shout out to Killer Twan and the Real Young LA because they really the ones keep keeping it hot too. Black Sam and all of them, but the the Real Young LA and Killer Twan they reminded us like, hey, y'all need to get out here and support. Uh, the marathon store, so we gotta make sure we get out there. We also are celebrating the Free Monster Yo, Yo Tour. You feel me? You growing up with your mom in the penitentiary? You said, would you go? Did you go visit your mom as a kid in jail? I couldn't. No, I couldn't. I wanted to, but <sighs> I wasn't allowed to just based on the circumstances, you know. So, okay, that's something I have to really push through. Yeah, because I feel like that absence of like secondary not having your mom all over again definitely has to be challenging. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that's why, um, you know, I'm starting a nonprofit organization with people who are um, absent, a parent, you know what I mean, whether it be a child or adult. So, you know, I welcome you to be a part of it because I feel like that's uh, definitely a part of your story. You feel me? And, and moving forward, what you're doing. You feel me? Your collaborations that you're going to have coming up. I see your list of music, you know what I'm saying? We went over the album and all that and talk about what you got moving forward. You feel me? You was in the Sada Baby and Blueface video on the same day. I was so amazed. I said, damn, she working hard on you. She did two out of this oh, video. Yeah. Table clothes. You, drop, you, dropping, you dropping music and all that. You feel me? What's uh, what's new to come about that? Or is it all ID Z? I know. We still trying to figure that we out. We trying to figure that out. I'm trying to get it to be ID and just drop the little ID Z. You feel me? Little ID Z been cool, but I feel like ID, you know, came from Sade. You know what I'm saying? This is facts. And that's the that's the breakdown of it. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I think that's that's the new wave. Yeah. I really appreciate you being part of my Queens of the Mic. Not the first time, but the second, second time, time, too. You feel mm -hmm. me? This one is going to be a uh, crown of the West Coast Queen. You, What do you feel that you bring to the table differently than all the other West Coast Queens? Oh, just me. I, I would say my versatility. Okay. Um, my flow and just, I'm a little, I'm not going to say a little, I'm a lot of creativity. <laughs> a lot <laughs> of creativity. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think everybody is different in their way, so I'm already different by default. But just saying, I bring my own flavor to it, you know, my rap, okay. so I'll switch it up. So are you queen of the West Coast? Shopping. Okay, okay. alright. Well, know, let's see. We finna know, see this November. I think the crowd might out. feel a little more better with the with the dude. Oh, 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 oh. oh. we about to see. Okay. Oh no. So <laughs> you gonna be dropping a new tape coming up this beginning of the year? Oh yes, me. What's yes, some of the features that we can expect on the new tape? Oh man, I can't say so much. But give us a little sneak peek. Who is some? I like that Sly song. Who, oh, who's yes. that? That's the homegirl, Mara. You feel me? Shout, Shout out to, to her. her. <laughs> Shout out to her. You feel me? We got Scorpio photos in the building. You feel me? You about to have a new baby and all that and all that. Congrats to the family and all that. All right, so. Look at my cat she, though. My cat is like literally always in the like business closer. now. And I'm just trying to figure out like you is not finna just force yourself to be into a color. You was all the way back here. What would it look like for you to make it? If you was to tell yourself like you sit back, everybody does this because they want to make it. What does making it look like for you? You know it's crazy? It's like before it was about, you know, me handling my responsibilities as just a mom and, you know, growing into a girlhood. <laughs> Well, on the series, no, like, it was just a matter of, like, when I was a kid, it wasn't about, me. oh, I'm about to make money off of this. It was because I love to do it. Mm -hmm. So it's the fact that, like, man, I could really do something I love and still get compensated for it, but it's not even really for that for me. But in reality, we all got to survive. You know, we all got to eat. But making it would just be, like, I'm comfortable. I'm able to have my kids just, you know, do whatever they, you know, whatever they want, at least. To a certain extent. <laughs> to a certain extent. <laughs> you know, but just let them, you know, how they, you know, just give them what These I need to have. Really you know? this world. Right. You know, but it's, it's about the kids. So finding, having that financial freedom. Yeah, you know, just being no cool, worries, smooth. You know, you know what's crazy? I used to have a different idea of what it was to make it for me. 
But recently I had an interview with uh, uh, Moolah23, shout out to Long Beach, Moolah23. He made me, when he, I asked him what it looked like for him to make it, and he was like, moments like this where I'm doing interviews with, with people like you, that, that, that moment made me feel like I made it. That acknowledgement of like him feeling like his hard work paid off because I'm acknowledging him as an artist made me feel like a respected platform. And that's... That, that day I was buying all kinds of stuff for myself. Like, you know what? I feel like I feel like I feel like he feel like he made it because he was on my show. Right. That made me feel like I have to have made it if an person for they made it they was on my show. So shout out to the maders out here. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people out here that want to be gateway keepers, and all of us we gotta hold the gate open. You feel me? We gotta each one teach one, each one push one. You feel me? And shout out to the cats out here that forced their way into Ooh. people's life. Like my cat. Like my cat is trying to make out with Scorpio photos, baby mom, right now. <laughs> shout out to my cat. He like, hey baby. He like, she already knocked up. Ain't no damage right here. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? You can't make so you got the video coming up. Y'all trying to get voice too hard in that oh, thing. You know, shout out. You know. Shout out to Voice Too Hard, okay? <laughs> Ain't no shame in our game around no here. No Shout out to Voice Too Hard, you look, feel me? Look, 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 we, we on a mission. She trying, they trying to get these, we trying to get these we dollars. Try check out my go, y'all check out my GoFundMe page so right now. I got a GoFundMe page right now. I help these artists with these videos. We trying to get them Voice Too Hard videos cracking. You feel me? We trying to get them all fair rent dues cracking. You feel me? Y'all gotta get, we gotta get our money out here popping. Sh money. You know what I'm saying? We got Queens of the Mic coming up. My new reality TV show that I'm trying to do. Cipher. You say you already got yours together. You know, you me? we pretty much got it there, you know. She got the new tape coming. You know. What's the inspiration behind the new tape? My mommy. And the cover. <laughs> and she got, and, and let me tell you something right now. Your mom's song, right, I, I I feel like you could really hear the pain in it, but it got a great melody in it, too. You feel me? So, it got a little raw wave feel, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, mm. you deeply depressed, but it's still like, banging. Yeah, like, wait a minute. No, she making this, the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, She's sad, yeah. but, uh, yeah, make her yeah. say, uh. Yeah, no, it's Friday. Okay, so we about to play this or that. How much time we got on the clock? All right, y'all, y'all check this out. We about to play this or that, okay? This or that means you pick this or that. The one, the options I give you, you ain't getting no shit in the middle, and don't try to, uh, check favor, okay? <laughs> Lil' Kim or Nicki Minaj? Kim. I was trying to say, girl, do not come in here. They be trying to come in here. Like, is trying to come in with a Nikki. And I'll be like, no, little Kimmy. Kim, Kimmy. Sorry, it really, I really like Foxy Brown, though. Oh, you Foxy know, you Brown. Have, so, Foxy Brown and Lil' Kim. Kim. I, I was on Kim when I grew up. You know, I, mean, I, I like Lil' Brown Kim, too, but, but Kim, I like I Foxy was popping. I just feel like she just now, she just need that extra push. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Jay Z didn't push her like he pushed Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! I'm saying, if Foxy Brown would have got that extra push, you feel yeah. me? It's Just think little, about it. If he would have gave Foxy <laughs> Brown the the Renaissance tour, where would she be? Right. <laughs> where would I be? You feel me? Yeah. We all would have been wearing chocolate brown to the to the concert. Yeah. Now look at us wearing right. silver. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Silver. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, McDonald's or Jack in the Box? McDonald's. You might have to leave after this. Evening. No, because of the fries. The <laughs> first fries, of all, everybody knows that Jack in the Box. You go to Jack in the Box, you get the stuffed jalapenos. You mean, get egg okay, rolls. I was on the spot right McDonald's here. got two things: fries and a Big Mac. That's okay, it. look, maybe they are especially on McDonald's right now. Are you craving shit? Or you gotta go? <laughs> I don't want no. No, it ain't craving. She getting I, I would have rather crave the fries. See how far I'm craving the, the Jack in the Box. See, that's why. That's why I'm craving it. Look, that can taste. Y'all can't shit. see what I see. Great <laughs> new woman around you is like the COVID. <laughs> it be like, bitch, cough on you. You okay, pray, do, do, do. It's like, regroup, like, regroup, regroup. Like, 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 did you nut me? Did you cough on me? Like, why am I waiting? I can't wait. I promise y'all right now. If. Three interviews from now, I'll let Craig me. <laughs> Just know this bitch coughed on me. <laughs> <laughs> this nine week, this nine week, this thirty two right, week. Me. What is it? Twenty nine, twenty seven weeks. This twenty seven week old woman that came over here pregnant with me. And now, and guess what? I'm dropping the baby off at your house. <laughs> that is not. Oh, you no. see all this equipment around here? Drop the baby off at your house. I'll be there on the weekend. 
<laughs> so, Sprite or Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper. I'm driving on Dr. Pepper like what lately. Yeah, but Dr. Pepper is my favorite. Like, I love Sprite, but Dr. Pepper's my favorite. Okay, Jay-Z or Nas? Think about your future. <laughs> Think that about is... your future. <laughs> you can talk about Diddy now. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They say he killed Tupac, so now can I, can I everybody can talk about him. <laughs> okay, okay. Jay-Z or Nas? I pick Nas. I was gonna say no. Cause I got on the Western said. bus and got off at the Slauson swap me to go get still mad at it. You know what I'm saying? I was with I ain't do that for none of Jay Z albums. Yeah. I I no offense to Jay Z. I like that. I ain't tripping about my future. I'll be honest. Yeah. I find me yeah, somebody on G on. So who you pick, Jay Z or Nas? I said it. Oh, she picked Nas, so not Nas. No, that's I, why. That's why I should have just said it first. Cause I knew she was gonna do that. <laughs> Everybody knows. Like, she said, "Think about your future." Okay, you Tupac, to think about or like, Tupac or Biggie? Tupac or Biggie? Tupac. You know what's crazy? I like Biggie. Biggie I mean, was smooth. I like Biggie too, but it's Biggie like came out. Biggie was like the only nigga that could look sweaty and bomb at the same time. <laughs> like, ooh, look at Biggie. Like, he's sweaty. <laughs> he got the conga. He got the little. He had the little hats on. He was sweating all down the side no like shot here. And nobody was. She from the coast, and she's talking about Biggie. For real, Biggie was smooth. Like he was. Smooth. Tupac reminds me. Like, like, Tupac reminds me of like that over like yeah. animated. The, that over man, oh, everybody got that over animated dude at the uh, in, where they grew up at, where he just like he just walking around, ah, breathing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tupac was cool, but he just was like he had that arrogant vibe. Like his music bomb, don't get me wrong, but when I play when I play Juicy by 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 by, by uh, Biggie, I just go back to middle school. Like yeah, fuck these teachers. I get that. What up, you me? I'm like that's. That's really like the only song. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But I just feel like who who would I want to hang out with? Probably Biggie. Yeah, it would be Biggie. I'm not going to Tupac probably would have got me shot up. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So, like, I don't know. Biggie, I don't know. I don't know. I like Biggie and Tupac, but I don't know Biggie was more mom. So, which one you like better? You said you said that Tupac? Well, as far as musically. Musically? Because if you would have asked about R. Kelly, that we in a whole other category. Okay, so who do you pick? R. Kelly? <laughs> no, not, hold, I just, on, I hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just saying we're going by his No, no, this is that. Hold on. And, 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 this is about to be and, the funniest this that I've ever had. Shit. Hold on. <laughs> who, who, Musically, who is she? You become a millionaire and you can get anybody out of jail. <laughs> who do you get out of jail? R. Kelly oh, or Bill Cosby? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Who you or I would say Ooh. BG, but BG already out. Shout out to BG out Ooh. to the real niggas out of jail. You feel me? Who would you get out of jail? You got R. Kelly. Okay, hold on. I got something better. No. R. Kelly, Avant, and Joe go to jail. Who do you get out of jail? Avant. You know I'm about to say, girl, you don't know I'm about to say. I'm about to say, come on. I'm about to say, come on. Okay. Joe or R. Kelly? Who are you getting out of jail? R. Kelly, I'm coming for you, baby. I just ain't got enough money yet. I know. I want to say him, but I don't want to be looked at. I ain't going to lie. If Joe went to jail, I have to get Joe first. I come back with R. Kelly with the GoFundMe. I didn't really hear too much about the Avant thing. That's what I'm saying. I don't know too much about that. No, I'm saying like if 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 you had an opportunity that was all in jail, who would you get out for the sake of music? Yeah, Joe, yeah, we'll Avon, or R. Kelly? Yeah, Kelly come on, I feel like now ain't nobody gave you a show like R. Kelly. Now I know why he was giving those good shows, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it was still good. You feel yeah. me? Okay, so who do you pick? You want a DJ Mustard beat? DJ Mustard, okay. The DJ Mustard, okay. Mm -hmm. Or Dream? Who would you have for the record? Yeah. Um, I know I think about this or that. I do. Mm. I gotta make it interesting. She, she That's got my job. That's my job. Damn, I always wanted a dream beat. I'm sorry. I quit dream, my job for this. Dream, 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 dream. Dream? dream. I ain't gonna lie, I'm coming for that DJ Mustard. I'm sorry. Dream you cool. Dream. But DJ Mustard. What? Dorsey's fine. I'm going for DJ Mustard. If you know, you know. Which, please. <laughs> <laughs> We going for the DJ Mustard beat. I mean, yeah, because it's the hype and it's the, you know, it's the this. Okay, hold on. We're going to go for the babies. Hold on. The Dream is a legend out here. So Dream is a legend out here, not, but DJ Mustard is on the radio every day. You are right. You're right. 
Cause you say my nigga. You say. That's why. That's why I does this. You feel me? It's like who you gonna buy? Drinky be cool. Legendary. You feel me? DJ Mustard. Yeah, C C Touche Touche. Oh, I know. See, it's what? Like, I DJ Mustard. What to say, but it's like, DJ Mustard. I I he on the radio. Smart. What? Well, DJ Mustard. He on the Billboard chart. You feel me? Yeah. You Dream. Know. He on there, but you just don't know. We on there. But when it's DJ Mustard, you know it's DJ Mustard. You can tell I'm a fan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like you, you can tell I went to North High School. <laughs> <laughs> yep, LAUSD's finest kicked out student. So, anyways, back to this or that. Okay. Oh, we still going. <laughs> yes, I got two more. You can get a feature from Janet Jackson or Mary J. Blige. Who do you go for? Dump. You might fuck up your future right now. Why is she doing this? I don't know. I'm trying to okay, you said Janet Jackson or who? Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Who do you go for? You gotta think about it, cause I'm tr I'm trying to teach you right now. Who if you gonna get that feature? Who you gonna hit the radio Janet with? Jackson. Janet Jackson. They gonna listen to you for sure at home. But Mary, Mary J. Blige, yeah. you gonna be in the club with yeah. that one, baby. Yeah. Mary J. Blige, we gonna get that thing. See, see. They gonna be like, really I don't here. wanna cry. Yeah. Mm, okay, mm. Mary J. Blige gonna be bust out of the windows say, for no yeah. reason. Okay, Mary J. Blige will have you fork your man for no reason. Like, you better not put me through no shit like this. Nah, for, <laughs> real. Not. for real, that's why I like Mary. Cause she like she was that person that sings to the mental health department, and you got listen, <laughs> you got music to listen to when you get there. No, nah, for real, for real, for real. Okay, so my day. last one, but not least, and I really thought hard about this one. This one's gonna get you probably some really badly. Okay, you want a Rick Ross feature? Or you want a boosty badass? Boosty. I'm glad you didn't take too long to think about that. Boosty, we love you. <laughs> if you didn't know, <laughs> we love you. We love you, Boosty. We love you. We love you. <laughs> I see you tried to be a teamwork. <laughs> right. She okay. Did. okay. She did. Yeah, she okay. did. I seen her baby daddy there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So. Shout out to her baby daddy. Baby daddy. You brought the homegirl. <laughs> when right. I seen them, I was like, why right. are you here? Right. And not the homegirl. So I was there in spirit. So. Yeah. But then, yeah. everywhere, but then you've been calling her for ever since she's been at my house. Man. Anyways, that's another, that's another story for the baby daddy story. But anyways. We're going to get another shot after this. So, our day. You got new music coming top of new year. Oh yeah. You feel me? You're under new management. Oh yeah. Shout out to my manager. <laughs> right. We about yeah. to get shit in order. You understand no. me? We coming for the boosty badass feature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I get my windows bust off. Oh, you understand know me? Yeah, you know what I mean. We got new music coming. We got Queens of the Night Volume Two coming out. We got the Crown of West Coast Queen. You feel me? I got her. Yard down, Mimi. You feel me? I got my girl Miracle Mina. Wavy That's Hustle. Work. The real young LA. Hopefully, can come and be a judge for me. You feel me? But um, it's gonna be and my boy LA School gonna be in there looking like Sling Johnson. <laughs> he need to wear that black suit that he wore to twin birthday party. <laughs> I posted it on my page. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got Lady, we got Tallulah the Virgo, we got Loch Ness, we got everybody that you can think of that is independently killing it in LA. Black Molly, you feel me? It's going up. So y'all make sure y'all tap in, you feel me? Little IDZ. We're going into this this next chapter strong. You feel oh, me? Oh, it's you feel me? And shout out to moms, you feel me? Rest in peace to Miss Korea. Oh, you feel man. me? Out here doing it up, you feel me? And your daughter, we're gonna make sure she in safe hands. You understand me? I'm your girl, Barbie Velvet. We got my boy Scorpio photos in there. You feel me? I got my girl, Little Wadizzi. And this is going to be on YouTube. So you need to like, subscribe, and click the link and all and that. All that. And all that and all that. You and feel me? That. And to my boy, Lil Sodi. I want to send y'all some love. You feel me? With his bear Jew. And I just want to make sure I send some love to him, to his family, to his son, to his kids, to his daughters, to everybody. You feel me? We lost a real one. You feel me? And it's a wrap.